Hey guys, this is Tony A again, uh, back here for another uh, beginner tips video for Tales of Arise. Alright, so to get started real quick, so uh, the first thing you're going to notice is um, when you're playing this game, the most important resource you're going to have to keep your eye on is going to be your CP. So if you see on the left hand side, on the bottom there, uh, you, you see that I have 59 of 215 CP left. What are CP? CP are cure points. And cure points are what all of your characters use to um, to be able to cast their healing effects. Mm -hmm. So that'd be for Xion or um, any of the other characters that have anything healing. Um, they'll be pulling from that resource. And when that runs down, all the way down to zero, they won't be able to cast any more healing spells. So how do you manage that? Um, so one of the things you'll want to do is... Um, to restore your CP, you'll be doing that at either an inn or you'll be able to do that anywhere where you can actually rest. Um, so anytime you have a chance to rest, make sure you do that. And you can see that uh, available for you that has a moon on the map. And if you go to that moon icon, you'll see that you'll be able to rest. So let me go ahead and pull uh, uh, over to that icon so you guys can see what I mean. So here we go, it's not too far. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys how much CP I have, which is 59 of 215. And also you see that my health for Alfin and Xion are lower than full. So what you can do is go ahead and talk to the uh, innkeep. Click rest, for now I'm not gonna cook. And you'll see that once you go through this, um, you'll now have full CP and you'll have full health and that is absolutely free so make sure you guys do that um, one thing to keep in mind that if you go back to the to the to the vendor to sleep what will happen is all the, the enemies are respawning there. so that's not really that big of a problem because the majority of the enemies you can just avoid so see I don't have to go battle them again I can just go around them go on up these stairs make a right here and you'll see that there'll be more enemies eventually, but I can just skip them. So see, there's those. I already got the item that they were guarding. Uh, there's even those that are directly in the path. You can just go around. I've already killed them before. I've already got an experience. You can get more experience if you want. You just farm them, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to waste my time. So that's how easy it is to go ahead and get your cure points back up and actually all of your healing as well. So make sure you guys do that, guys, and do that any time that, uh, that you have the opportunity to. Another way to do this, if you're in a pinch in the middle of a battle, is you can actually pull open the, the menu during the battle and go to your items menu, and you'll see that you have consumables. Orange gel is the item that restores CP. You can't buy this anywhere, so make sure you leave this for tough battles, for big battles with bosses or mini bosses, um, and just try to use resting instead, and leave these for when you actually need them during the battle. You can't buy them as of now, I'm about 10 hours into the game, I think there is a vendor later on in the game, but for now I can't. So just make sure you keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on your CP, it'll help you out quite a bit. Okay guys, so next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you explore everything. And by everything, I mean just explore the entire map. It's actually not as large as it looks. If you push uh, your map icon, or your, sorry, your map button, you'll see that the map looks kind of big and a little convoluted, but it's actually not. Let me show you. So this is where I am right now. And what you'll see is that I'm going to try to get over here and you'll see how quickly, like on this map, it looks like it's kind of a long distance, but you'll see just how quickly I'm able to get over there. So you can actually run at any point. There's no stamina meter or anything, so you can just run straight through. So let me go ahead and just show you guys how quickly it is to go through all of this. And again, this is just to show you guys that when you pop open the, the map icon, uh, it might look like a really, really large map, but it's actually not. It's actually pretty linear and it's not really as open as you might think. So just make sure you guys explore everything so that you can make sure to get all of the uh, cool items that are hidden behind chests and uh, hidden behind some enemies. So see, I'm already here. I'm already at the beginning of this of the, this map that, that you have here. And I was all the way over here. And it literally took me less than 30 seconds to get over here. So just do that for yourself. You, you get some very cool items, especially armor. Um, armor tends to be hidden away in chest. Um, otherwise, you're gonna have to buy it and you don't get too much, too much uh, gold, which is the currency. So you want to make sure you do that because uh, then you'll be able to get armor like this, which is Onyx Mail for, um, um, what's his name, for Alfin. And actually I just got the Onyx Cloak for, um, what is it, for Ringworld. So make sure you guys are exploring everything. 
again so that you can be able to get this and you don't have to buy this from the vendor. Um, and yeah, it'll really help you guys out. So make sure you do that. All right, so the next tip isn't so much as a tip as it is um, what happens when you when all of your characters die in the in battle. So just so you guys can have an idea of what happens, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that right now. So I'm gonna so I already have Alfin down. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and play as Shion, and then I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna let her just die. So you can show you guys what it is, like what happens. And these little guys, when it's a bunch of them, uh, really, 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 it's actually very easy to so there you go, Xion down. So now let me go ahead and take over as Winwell and let her go. So as of now I have two or three CP and now all of my characters are going to be done. There we go, so they're all down. And there you go, I spawned in the exact same spot that I started. The only difference now is yet. that um, basically the game auto cures you and it uses your CP. So now I only have 119 CP left. So that's all that happens. Actually, the, the enemies despawned that killed me. So not too much of a punishment. If you are low on CP and you're about to go into a boss battle, um, it might be a problem, but for the most part, it won't be. Again, because the, 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 the maps aren't really all that big. So you can just go ahead and run right back to the, uh, the resting area, rest, and get all your CP and all of your health back. And again, you don't want to just use your orange gels uh, too freely or too liberally. You want to use those for your boss battles. All right, guys. So next thing I'm going to cover is uh, whether you should buy uh, items or whether you should forge weapons or what. So um, there's two things that you are probably looking at buying and selling. So one, if you go into the item shop, you'll see that there's a bunch of Curian type items which are pretty expensive and you tend to find these as you're uh, exploring the map. So if you're doing the previous tip and you're just going through and exploring the map as much as possible, for the most part, I find that these are available to you as you kind of need them and you find them out in the wild. So you can buy one if you're running really low, like a life bottle might be a good idea for me to buy one. But that's also a thousand gold and um, that's quite a bit. So if you see, I only have 2,600. So that's with those curing items. Um, and then with the armors, I find that the armors, like I said before, you're actually finding them out in the wild. And actually this Onyx Mail, I had already found previously out in, in uh, uh, during my exploration. So they also sell it now, So, the, but there's no point for me to buy it because I already have um, Shia, uh, sorry, not Shia, no, Alphen equipped with it. So make sure you do explore, your exploring, that'll save you a lot of currency and you won't have to buy the actual armor. Now, in terms of the weapons, I've actually not encountered a vendor yet that sells weapons. So what I've had to do is go, um, gone ahead and go ahead and crafted those weapons. So if you see pretty much every single uh, merchant that's out there, has two things, they have the item shop and they have a uh, forge weapon and create accessories. We'll cover create accessories potentially later. But for now, let's focus on forge weapons. So you go into here and you see what they have and you're able to forge these. And uh, basically the materials that you need are all from, or all collected from different um, monsters that you that, that, that you defeated or Zugos as they call them in this game. Zugos, I think is what it is. Um, so I've been able to create uh, or craft actually each one of these. So weapons I haven't found out in the wild, so you are going to want to go ahead and craft your weapons or forge them. And that's for all of the uh, party members. So I actually ha haven't been able to craft the Taming Water for um, Rinwell yet. But for Xion and for uh, Alfin, I've been, able, uh, I've been able to get some pretty good upgrades. So I started off with the Long Sword, then I got the Crude. Uh, went to the ground fang and now I have the gale, win uh, gale wing which has quite a bit more damage than the previous ones. So you want to go ahead and make sure you forge your weapons. Again I haven't found any yet. I'm about 10 hours into the game and I haven't found any out in the wild so I have had to craft them. Same thing for basically everybody's weapons. Okay, hope that helps. Alright so the last thing I want to cover is just how to use the map. The map's a little confusing especially when you first start. Um, you can't really use it for anything. So um, first of all, you could push square. Uh, you push square and that brings up, and this is on PlayStation 5, by the way. This might be a little bit different on, uh, depending on which console you're playing, if you're playing on Xbox or if you're playing on PC. Um, it pulls up the map. And this looks pretty barren, like there's not much to it. Um, actually, what you can do is if you see on the, uh, first of all, on the top left corner, you see that you actually have different sections within this area. So right now I'm in the Cisladin uh, region and you'll see that there's actually multiple places I can travel. So if you tab 
L1, R1, and whatnot, then you can go ahead and fast travel to different locations. Right now, due to the story, I'm not able to fast travel, but uh, once that story bit clears up, then I'll be able to fast travel and just go to any of these sections again. Now, what you can also do, and this is uh, not really all that easy to comprehend just by looking at the map, is you can actually push triangle. If you see on the bottom right of this screen, it says display map list. You could push triangle, and then you can actually go to the different realms. So you see that there is a couple realms, uh, Caleglia, which is where you start, uh, Cislodia, which is the next one, which is where I'm at right now, and then for now it's other. Um, I'd imagine once you unlock the other realms, same thing happens. You're able to just go ahead and through here and go ahead and access the different realms. And again, right now, the fast travel, the little icon with the circle and the slash around it, um, is typically where you could fast travel, but right now because of the story, I can't. But the cool thing about this is that also it tells you if there's any um, side quests there. So if you see the little envelope, that's a side quest I haven't started. If you see the green star, that's a side quest I have started, but I haven't completed. And same thing here. So if I fast travel to these locations, there's a side quest for me to do there. And then there's one to pick up right here. So make sure you do that. Make sure you use the map uh, to its full potential because it's actually pretty useful, but it's not very intuitive in terms of how to use it. So again, this is the, uh, just so I can show you guys again. So you push square, go to the map, you can tab over with L1, R1, and then you can push triangle to go ahead and look at the different realms. And this is where you get to see all the different quests that are available to you. But anyway, thanks for joining me guys. Um, I really appreciate you guys uh, watching this video. If you guys could please go ahead and subscribe, that'll definitely help me out. If you could like the video as well, that also helps out uh, quite a bit. Thank you very much for your time and I really appreciate you guys. Thank you.